Hello, uh, Godspeed. This is the practitioner again. Um, I'm going to show you a possible way to uh, do this exact same trick. As you can see here, I have a compass attached to my watch. Now watch this. I'm just going to move a, a ring starting next to it, and lo and behold, it just starts to move of its own accord. How did I do that? Well, guess what? I'll give you a hint. This is a nickel. This is the ring. Observe. It's a magnet. Now, in my case, I'm using PK ring to demonstrate this point. But one of the things that I've noticed is that when you did your um, your compass video, we never saw the back of your left hand, the same hand which, uh, as you moved it, influenced the compass. Now, I do find that the slightest bit odd, uh, especially for a man who claims to have telekinetic capabilities. So, um, might I suggest that, uh, like I said on the ring video, that you show the back of your left hand next time, or the back of the hand, um, that you show the back of your, uh, the front and back of your hand, which is influencing it, and then show the palm in full view. Again, much like you were doing here, but again, just like I said, that we, if we see the both the back and the front of your hand, and then if you started holding a hand like this to uh, do the, um, the focus on the compass or what have you. And again, barehanded, no rings, the same sort of thing. And the best part about that is then we'd actually be able to know for certain that you weren't using a magnet or something like that uh, taped to the back of your left hand. That having been said, um, keep up the, uh, that having been said, um, it's possible you have telekinesis, but I'd like to see it under further tightened conditions.